30 Things You Probably Didn't Know About Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's relationship and subsequent marriage have caused so much trouble for the royal family. The power couple has had a lot of coverage and have been the target of British tabloids for years. This might make you feel like you know the couple well. However, there are certain details you may not be aware of. Without further ado, let's dive into the wonderful world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Keep watching to discover 30 things you probably didn't know about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. You're guaranteed to learn something about them you didn't know in this video. So let's get into it. Number 1. Prince Harry Loves Children Considering that Prince Harry lived as an adventurous, fun-loving individual before his marriage, it's no surprise that he shows a liking for children. In his interview with ABC News in 2016, before meeting Meghan Markle, he confessed to loving children, perhaps because of his own inner child. It's no surprise that Harry has naturally stepped into the role of father to the two children he shares with Meghan, Archie and Lilibet. It was confirmed by his friend, Nacho Figueres, who called Prince Harry a natural who knows exactly what to do. Number 2. Prince Harry Spoke to His Mother on the Day of Her Death Prince Harry was only 12 years old when his mother, Princess Diana, lost her life that night in 1997. He revealed that he actually spoke with her on the day of her death. A few hours before the death of Princess Diana, the two had a phone conversation. And while Harry was thankful that he had the opportunity to speak with her that day, he still holds a lot of guilt over the rushed conversation and the things he didn't get to say. Number 3. Sports for Veterans In a world where empathy is slowly losing its grip on humanity, it's refreshing to see a British royal member championing the welfare of injured veteran soldiers. During Harry's interactions with these vets, he realized that they needed something more. In addition to their physical injuries, these men and women had accumulated mental scars on top of their physical ones. During his travels in 2013, he came up with the idea that sports could be used as a tool to boost morale and speed up the healing process of these warriors. It would also serve as a way for the public to appreciate and honor these veterans. The Invictus Games were launched in 2014 as a celebration of the sacrifice and tenacity of these servicemen and women who fought for their country and against the hard blows life gave them and still emerged victorious. The Invictus Games is about celebrating people who refuse to give up on themselves despite the challenges they faced. Although he's retired from his senior royal responsibilities, Prince Harry is still actively involved in the planning, coordination, and execution of the Invictus Games. Number 4. Military Man Following the path of his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, who served in the Auxiliary Territorial Service, Prince Harry joined the British military, Blues and Royals, and served for a decade. He started his military career with a 44-week training course as an officer cadet in 2005 and made his way to captain before he retired from active service in 2015. Over the course of his service, he toured Afghanistan twice in 2007-2008 and 2012-2013 respectively, but had to return home when his identity and location were made public. Prince Harry insisted on not getting special treatment for being a royal and opted to accompany his troopmates on tour. As a military officer, he flew Apache helicopters in Afghanistan against Taliban insurgents. He reminisced that his time in the military was one of the happiest times in his life. King Charles and Prince William also served in the Blues and Royals. Number 5. Mental Health The trauma of losing a parent at the age of 12 manifests differently in each person. As a preteen, Prince Harry's trauma came as repressed grief, which eventually took a toll on his mental health. In a 2017 documentary, he mentioned his state of mind at the time. Don't let yourself think about your mom and the grief and the hurt because it's never going to bring her back and it's only going to make you sad. This shows that he never allowed himself to process his grief properly and instead chose to suppress his feelings. According to him, his work and personal life suffered for it. After almost having a complete breakdown, he had to face reality and go for a mental checkup. 
With professional help, he dealt with his grief and anger. His experience inspired him to become an advocate for mental health and help reduce the stigma surrounding it. In his 2021 docuseries, The Me You Can't See, he shares helpful resources for everyone who's struggling. He stated that he'll use his platform to help reduce the solitude and the struggle that people dealing with mental health issues have to face. Number 6. Endurance Master Who do you think journeyed to the North and South Poles respectively? Yep, you guessed right, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. He initially embarked on the 2011 expedition to the North Pole, but had to return home before completing the journey because of Prince William's wedding. So in 2013, he had another adventure to the South Pole. Although it was meant to be a racing competition between Commonwealth countries, it became a 200-mile endurance trek with a team of 12 service men and women. Number 7. First Name or Nickname Do you know that Harry's not Prince Harry's given name? His full name is Prince Henry Charles Albert David. Harry is a British nickname for Henry. In addition to this, his surname is Wales, so Prince Henry Wales. While in active military service, he was identified as Officer Wales and eventually retired as Captain Wales. Number 8. Home Away From Home Shortly after the death of Princess Diana, Prince Harry took a trip to Africa, which he described as his second home. In his interview with Town & Country, he describes Africa as a place where he's most comfortable in his skin. He expressed a desire to spend more time in the continent as he feels a strong sense of calm and a sense of normalcy there. On his trips to the continent, he's made worthwhile relationships that have helped strengthen the royal family's alliances. He started a charity with Prince Iso to help children affected by poverty and AIDS. He also took Meghan Markle on a camping trip to Botswana at the start of their relationship. He also designed Meghan Markle's engagement ring with a large stone from Botswana. Number 9. Pizza Lover? Who doesn't like pizza? Prince Harry, that's who. In 2017, he visited a school in Chicago, home of the deep dish, and admitted that he rarely ate pizza. He and Prince William were no strangers to junk food, however. Princess Diana used to take the boys to McDonald's when they were younger. While pizza may not be on Harry's menu, he still visits McDonald's occasionally and his favorite fast food restaurant, In-N-Out Burger. The royal chef also once confirmed that Harry's obsessed with bananas and loves any food that includes them. Number 10. Eco-Friendly Prince Harry loves the environment as much as his father, King Charles III. He is sure to pick up litter from the ground and always turns off lights when others leave them on. This might not seem like a remarkable feat, but it's the small things that matter. Kudos to King Charles III and Prince Harry for their efforts. Number 11. Mr. Yoga Prince Harry's developed a penchant for yoga. This might be surprising at first, but considering that yoga is recommended for relaxation and inner peace, it might make a bit more sense. Meghan Markle reportedly loves yoga and may have likely been the influence for Harry to try it out. Number 12. Healthier Lifestyle Meghan Markle's been identified as a healthy lifestyle enthusiast, so it's no surprise she's influenced Harry's habits as well. Prince Harry gave up smoking and alcohol when he found out Meghan was pregnant with their first child, Archie. Meghan Markle's influenced other aspects of Harry's life as well. He's now an early riser, has a nutritionist for his diet, and has added a fitness workout to his morning routine. Number 13. Private Life Before his marriage to Meghan and the scandal that followed, Harry was a working royal who put his life out there for all to see. However, after seeing the way the tabloids were attacking his wife, he's taken a massive step back from the limelight, which includes stepping away from his royal duties. While his father and brother both announced the arrival of their children on the day of their children's birth, Archie's arrival was announced a few days later. Furthermore, he now treats reporters differently and opts to keep his distance instead of having tea with them as he did in the past. Number 14. Maturity or Stress 
Since his marriage to Meghan Markle, it seems as though Prince Harry's boyish charm and impish smile have all but disappeared. He's now usually seen sporting a more reserved and serious expression. While some believe he's unhappy, body language expert Judy James says it's a sign of maturity. As he steps up from being the royal slacker to the more active roles of spouse and father. We promise you facts about both Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, so keep watching to discover some things you probably didn't know about Meghan. Number 15. Degree Holder Meghan Markle has a degree in international relations. Although she was initially interested in the arts, she had her eyes on politics. So she majored in both theater and international relations at the Northwestern University School of Communication. Although she's well known for her role in the USA drama series Suits, she applied for an interview at the U.S. Embassy and worked at the U.S. Embassy in Buenos Aires for a short period. While she may not be actively using her degree, her skills came to good use during her short stint as a working royal family member. Number 16. Side Hustle While many actresses wait for their next big gig, they support themselves as waitresses. However, Meghan Markle supported herself by doing something much cooler. Calligraphy. She learned handwriting in school and found a way to pay her bills with it. She did calligraphy on invitations, celebrity correspondence, and many other things. The Duchess recommends calligraphy as a side gig because of how lucrative it is with little competition. Number 17. Growing up on set. The Duchess grew up on set since her father was the director of lighting and photography for TV shows. For about a decade, she was behind the scenes of Married with Children, which might explain her interest in the arts. As she recalls, it was a perverse environment for a Catholic schoolgirl to grow up in. Her father frequently had to intervene and remove her from the set. Number 18. Child Activist when Meghan Markle was a young girl, she played a significant role in the fight against sexism. She saw a commercial from a prominent company on TV that included a line saying, women all over America are fighting greasy pots and pans. Well, young Meghan Markle did not like that and proceeded to write a letter to the company. They ended up changing the offensive line to people all over America. Years later, while speaking at the UN Women's Conference, she would say the experience was one of the most remarkable moments in her life. Number 19. Engagement Ring Designer The Duchess's initial engagement ring had one large stone and two smaller stones. However, slight changes were observed on it in 2019. Some speculated that it was redesigned because of her pregnancy while others believe it was redesigned to fit the eternity band and Welsh gold wedding band Prince Harry gave her. Whatever the reason may be, the Duchess's engagement ring's been altered into a micropave one with a row of tiny diamonds running through the band. Number 20. Health Enthusiast The Duchess is all about living and eating well and especially enjoys cooking. Furthermore, she practices healthy habits like eating the right amount of calories and nutrients and using yoga to protect her mental space. It's no surprise she's influenced Prince Harry's habits as well. Number 21. Visit Africa. Months after the birth of Archie, Prince Harry, his wife, and his young son visited Africa because they were sent an invitation to the Lion King premiere in 2019. They were invited to honor their conservation work. After the premiere, the young family stayed and took a tour of Southern Africa. African countries like Botswana give the young couple fond memories and also inspire them to give back to society. Number 22. Early Identity Crisis The Duchess has a white father and a black mother. It took her a long time to be comfortable with her identity. One experience she shared was while she was in school, she had to pick her ethnicity and was allowed to tick only one box. Confused about what to pick, she did not choose any. While some might see it as a case of defiance, young Megan was confused because she belonged to two ethnicities. Furthermore, she says her acting career was also affected. People refused to choose her for roles because her skin tone was too white for black movies, but too black for white movies. Eventually, she learned to love the platform her mixed heritage gave her, and she's now proud of who she is, 
and her identity as a mixed race woman. Number 23. Criticized. The Duchess of Sussex been the object of many criticisms. Her skin tone, heritage, divorce, and parenting skills are a few examples. The British press certainly has a lot to say about her, and she mentioned how difficult that was for her in her new Netflix special. Number 24. Animal Lover Meghan Markle is an avid animal lover. According to Prince Harry, the Queen's dogs loved her but always barked at him. Number 25. What's in a first name? Since Prince Harry's first name is not Harry, it's not surprising that Meghan is not Meghan Markle's first name. Her given name is Rachel Meghan Markle, so Rachel's her actual first name. She likely chose Meghan Markle as her popular name because of the pleasant-sounding alliteration. Number 26. Love at First Sight Meghan Markle was not the only woman Prince Harry was publicly involved with, but none of them had a hold on him the way she did. In an interview, he was asked when he knew she was the one, and he replied that it was the moment they met. It was love at first sight. Number 27. Traumatic Childhood Did you know that Meghan Markle's birth parents were also divorced, and she was shuffled between homes at an early age? The marriage of Princess Diana and King Charles III was already rocky when Prince Harry arrived on the scene. A few years later, they divorced, and young Prince Harry was deeply affected. Psychotherapists and other health experts have deduced that the experience of losing their respective childhood homes may have helped strengthen their bond. In addition, her positive view of her childhood could inspire Prince Harry to reprocess his childhood in a more positive light. Number 28. Rule Benders While Prince William tries his best to uphold the royal British traditions and customs because of his position as heir apparent, Prince Harry doesn't have the same restrictions. Since he wasn't under the direct limelight of the British monarchy, he'd been tweaking the royal rules as he wrote his own life story. A few instances where he broke the rules include publicly acknowledging his relationship with Meghan Markle before their official engagement, showing affection publicly, having a wedding in May, not using the traditional fruitcake as their wedding cake, sharing political views publicly, and many other scenarios. Number 29. Big Huggers Prince Harry apparently gives legendary hugs. It's no surprise since he's the child of our beloved Princess Diana, who also had a warm and inviting personality. He said to ABC, everyone needs a hug now and then, and it so happens I've been told over and over again, I'm very good at giving hugs. As a representative of the American culture, Meghan is also on the hugging bandwagon. When she was criticized for her hugs, she used her American culture as defense. Number 30. Feminists As per tradition, the British royal family should not be involved in issues of politics or show bias publicly because of their position. However, since Prince Harry and Meghan Markle no longer actively associate with the crown, they share more of who they are and what they believe with the world. In a recent interview with Gloria Steinem for Vogue, Meghan Markle reiterates her husband's support of feminism and even went so far as to call him a feminist. Did we leave anything out about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed it. Until next time.